and I lower the compliance threshold by saying, just give me a little preview. So now all of a sudden, here she is on the couch, and now she's giving you head, right? And then at that point, if she has like a dress or like a skirt or like anything, even like somewhat loose fitting pants, you can go in from behind and start fingering her and playing with her clip while she's like going down on you, right? What's up everyone, I'm John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we are going to go over the nuts and bolts of how to close at the house, okay? How to fuck the girl, how to get the girl to have sex with you. Okay, there's a very important piece. I have three main pieces in the funnel, okay? There's at the top, lead acquisition. That's meeting girls at the nightclubs, okay, in the bars. It's meeting girls during the daytime at streets, malls, and cafes, it's meeting girls from online game, which is the primary focus right now during Corona times, during pandemic times, okay? Then you move them to the next piece, which is lead management. That's all your texting. That's all the facilitation to get the dates set up, okay? And from there, you get out on dates. They either come straight to your house for the date or you meet them at the public venue for a date, okay? And then you either, they either start at your house because the date's straight to the house or you bring them back home after the public date and now they're back at your house. This video here, there's a throwback video from two years ago. It's one of my, be my best videos. This video is gonna walk you through in literally 10 minutes how to close back at the house. I go through exactly what I do, okay? Keep in mind, this is a sequence that was uh, basically what I was doing when I was drinking, okay? If you don't drink, you can just skip the parts about pouring shots or whatever. Okay, that's not, not relevant. Okay, I still close just the same without any of that. But that is what is included in that type of talk. Also, I don't go further than um, once you bring the girl into the bedroom. Okay, I'm not going to go into, you know, how to fuck her. Okay, there'll be a different video that I will link at the end about how to have sex. Okay, I'll, I, where I go through the top positions and that kind of stuff. So look out for that. Okay, please subscribe if you have not already. Okay, press the notification bell. New videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to be bringing on, uh, on Saturday for the YouTube Live, another top coach on my team, okay? 600 count. This dude, Ryan, okay? Very, very solid. His game is very similar to mine, okay? He coached on my USA Tour last year with me where we did Vegas, L.A., Miami, New York, and London, okay? Uh, so that will be very exciting, and in other news, before we get this video rolling, uh, there's multiple coaches that have, that have been talking to me, and including the, the guy Ice White, and there's going to be a crowdfunding effort started, okay, to sue RSD for false copyright takedowns, okay, because there's a whole bunch of instantiations which are all being compiled and are going to be prepared in a legal lawsuit where they're just firing, uh, filing openly blatant uh, false copyright strikes, okay? And which is breaking the law, and they're taking down Facebook groups and other stuff, basically just trying to protect their pristine image that they built, even though they're a corrupt piece of shit company. Okay, they're trying to protect this image, and they're doing so by just breaking the law in a whole bunch of cases by censoring things that go against them. Okay, so all that is going to be packaged up into a nice lawsuit, and we will be announcing on all our different channels, different coaches, um, how you can donate for that. I don't even mind funding the whole thing myself. I don't give a fuck. I have a whole bunch of money saved. Um, but a bunch of coaches were like, no, let's make it a crowdsourcing thing so that everyone can get behind the cost. So that's what we're going to do. Anyways, enjoy how to close back at the house. And I will chat with you guys at the end of the video. Today we have a nice little fucking freezing cold background here. With snow. I am in upstate New York for a day and then I'm going back to New York City. Um, what I want to talk to you today is another really important part for those of you that watch my tactical game breakdown the pickup game tactical game breakdown i want to talk to you about how to do that green box about what to do once you get the girl back at the house okay now this is going to apply for when you bring a date or day two back to the house or also when you bring a pull back to the house all right so <clears throat> if you remember in my last video with the tactical game breakdown i said a lot of guys are confused about what they should be doing back at the house i mentioned how i had a client that was getting back to the house, he'd be kissing with the girl, they'd be talking, all of a sudden he would stand up and get naked and put on a condom, okay? This is not how you should do it, all right? So what you should be doing 
First of all, if you haven't already watched my video on how to set up a wine date straight to the house, okay? There's a set of text sequences. If you follow those, sometimes you're getting an objection and you can, I tell you how to deal with that. So you're gonna have a whole stream of girls coming straight to your house, okay? And watch my tactical game breakdown. It shows you how to get the funnel of leads. So now you have girls coming to the house. Now, and I will later cover pulling, but we'll, we won't deal with that for now because the, this is again, the key to closing lots of fucking new lays and new bangs is dates to the house. Well, actually dates in general, okay? Let's assume she's agreed to come over. It's like seven o'clock on like a Wednesday or some shit like that, right? Doesn't really matter. This applies for any time of day or any, I will just say seven o'clock on Wednesday. So you should always be texting like an hour before the date, like, hey, I'm about to hop in the shower, um, text when you're on the way, wink face, whatever. That way you can kind of like gauge like how much time you have in case she's running early. She's gonna be there early, make sure you're ready on time. Or she's gonna be there late in case you have another date like stacked up because you're gonna be stacking these like you're gonna be stacking like two or three dates a day. So if she's running late, you're gonna tell the like, later girl, oh sorry, I, I have a work meeting that's running later. I'm just finishing up some work, so you're gonna push that one off. All right, and you, you're gonna have to. I'll teach you how to rearrange your schedule, and this is like a very important concept as well. And you're gonna have like floater girl spots in case you have like a flake. You're just gonna be able to hit up the floater and be like, yo, um, come. But, okay, so here's what you do. So she tells you she's on the way. She rides to the house, and when they first walk in. They've already agreed like beforehand, like we're gonna have a bottle of red, we're gonna have a bottle of white, okay? Now, usually when they first walk in, I'll be like, do you wanna do a shot? Like not to like try to get them drunk or anything, it's just like kind of like takes the pressure off. And I'll have, I'll talk about another video, I'll have like a light up bar, usually that's like slowly like pulsing through different colors. And I'll have like each kind of liquor. So I'll have like vodka, gin, rum, whiskey, tequila. Those are like the main ones. Just in case she doesn't, like if you just have one kind and she doesn't like it, then it's like whatever. Not that the shot is even that important, but that's usually like, this is like the sequence I'm going through. So like, we'll do this, she'll be like, oh, tequila, whatever. I'll be like, cheers, we do the tequila shot. And then we just start getting into talking, right? And I'll just go into opening the wine bottle. Now, what I'm doing with the talking is mostly old school, like DHV stories, like straight up. I'm, I'm talking about, I just moved here. And I every time, even if I've lived there for years, I always have just moved here. Okay, it's kind of makes you like new to the city, looking to meet new people, that kind of shit. So hey, what's up? I'm 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 new here. Um, I've been like moving all over the place. So I tell her like I just go through the same fucking progression every time. Like, yeah, I moved from New York to London to Philly to Vegas, San Diego to LA to Miami to Puerto Rico to New York, and then all these places in Europe and in Canada. And they're like, holy shit, right? So what does that say? Worldly traveler. But I'm not bragging about it. And I'm like, yeah, like it was cool. London was my favorite place because I went to graduate school there, and that's where I learned how to DJ. And then I was like DJing all over the place in America. Now she knows I'm educated. And these are true things. I did go to grad school in London. Now she knows I'm educated. I really did DJ. You know, they don't have to be true things. So now she's, the DJ thing imports like social status, social proof, fun life, world, world traveler, educated, blah, blah, blah. Plus I'm also like throwing in flirting, right? Like I'm saying like, that's what she said when I can. I'm like, you know, I'm not getting too physical yet. So we open the bottle of wine. And, I, and I'm, you know, I'll ask her, like, after I, like, say all this impressive shit, I'll be like, oh, so, like, what do you do? And she's like, oh, I'm a waitress, or, like, oh, this or that. I'm like, oh, have you always lived in this this town? And she's like, yeah, I haven't really traveled much. And you're like, oh, that's cool. But it, like, contrasts, like, very sharply to, like, the stuff that I'm talking about. Now, and I'll, if she's wearing, like, a hot outfit or something with, like, cleavage or, like, spandex or something, I'll be like, damn, like, I didn't realize you were this sexy. And they're always like, oh. like, that's another line I use. I'm like, it's not, I don't call that a nag or anything like that. It's just like a fun little thing. And I actually, a lot of times didn't realize they were that sexy. So like, I'll be like, oh shit, like you're actually, you're actually like pretty hot. Like, and I'll be like, don't worry, like your pictures online weren't that bad or when I met you at the club, it, it wasn't that bad. But, but now like, holy shit, right? I'm like, they weren't bad before, but like, this is much better. Like you're actually fucking hot. And they're like, holy shit. And I'm, and again, I'm like expressing the alpha personality. I'm, I'm not afraid to like say like, you're fucking hot, but I'm not like, damn, you're fucking hot. I'm like, shit, you're fucking hot. Like, come on, let's go. We go sit down on the couch, the wine, and now we're sitting like basically next to each other. And like, we're just kind of like drinking the wine and talking and flirting. And like, after like a few minutes, like I'll start to put my hand on her leg, that kind of shit. Um, you know, poking at her a little bit here and there, like, t like touching her hand, like being like, damn, let me see your eyes. So, damn, your eyes are really sexy. And I'm just asking her shit like, what's your ethnicity? Like, what are the good spots to go out around here? Like just stupid fucking bullshit like that. You know, but I'm just basically telling, I have all these other examples of DHV type stories, but I think that's important. Again, they can't come across as bragging. And I, I'm also letting through, I'm not just like saying a set of canned scripts. There's just, a, I have a bunch of go-to topics, but this video is more about how you go through the escalation.
after we're drinking, it's usually around for like 10 minutes. Um, sometimes less, sometimes more. Like if she's like looking at you, like, and it's like really on, I'll be like, I'll be like, why are you looking at that? And I'll just start making out with her. If she's like kind of hesitant, I might like wait a little bit longer before I, I go to kiss her. But at some point I'll be like, damn, like you're actually like really cool. Right. Like after like, you can kind of like feel like you hit like a tipping point, where like the vibe is now warmed up and things are like kind of on at that point I'm going for the kiss. So I'll be like, um, actually, no, 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 that's not true. Well, well, if it's, if it's on on the couch, like you go for the kiss, but a lot of times, like once, once the vibe's kind of on, I'll like, kind of like grab a little bit and then like, I'll be like, do you want to do like one more shot? And like, sometimes they know I'm like, well, I'm going to do one. Like you can just come with me or whatever. And that's where I go for the kiss usually. So I go over say, she's like, no, I don't want one. Or, or she's like, I, or I don't think we'll take a half with you or whatever. Like, it's kind of like an isolation within your house. Like you've now like moved her to the bar. And the reason I do that is because I can kind of like pull her in at that point. We're both like standing up. So we go over to like the, the bar area that I have set up for the shop and then cheers like to us, whatever. And then like we do it and I'm like, damn, like, let me see your eyes again. Or like, you're fucking cute. Pull her in, start making out. But I don't go for a long makeup there. We just like kiss a little bit. And I like kind of take her by the hand and like lead her back to the couch. And then on the couch, um, we like maybe we'll say like one more word and then just kind of like jump back into making out and like as we're making out um like i usually like we'll move one of our hands here and like just push it a little bit and then they usually like bring it down or i'll be like look look what you did like if you're like fucking hard and shit and then like she'll start rubbing you and then i'll be like do you want to see it like do you want to see the preview whatever like do you want to are you curious and they almost always will say yes at which point you show them and then they'll start playing with it you keep making out at that point, um, I say, are you good with your mouth? So that's, that's like my next line, which is like signaling her to give you a blowjob. So I'm like, are you good with your mouth? And they'll be like, yeah. Like they almost always will say, yeah. Or like, that's what I hear. Or I've never had a complaint. That's like a common response. <laughs> like I've never had a complaint. And I'll be my counter that is like, oh, well, every girl thinks she's really good, but most girls are bad at it, which is true. Even if it wasn't true, I'd, I'd still say that because, because then she wants to like prove herself. And I lower the compliance threshold by saying, just give me a little preview. So now all of a sudden, here she is on the couch, and now she's giving you a head, right? And then at that point, if she has like a dress or like a skirt or like anything, even like somewhat loose fitting pants, you can go in from behind and start fingering her and playing with her clit while she's like going down on you, right? It's, it's super easy if it's like a, if it's a dress or anything where you can reach up, but if it's not, you can either um, go in through the back unless it's too tight, in which case, like after she blows you a bit, you undo her pants and you start playing with her clit. And so you're playing with her clit while she's blowing you. Then after like you're both doing that like, a little bit, but it doesn't go on for, like, for a long time. I'll be like, come, let's go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom, sit down, or, you know, tell her like, oh, start, start blowing me again. She starts blowing you. And then I'll be like, let me see your ass. That's like the next step to like get her to take her pants off. I'll be like, let me see, like, do you have a booty back there? Let me see your ass. Like, let me see what kind of underwear you're wearing. And if she's like, no, no. I'll be like, just show me really quick, just show me a preview. And like, it's the preview thing is like so, so key. It's like such a key line because it gets them to just say, it's like when you have a moving set, you're like two seconds, two seconds. So when you're pulling, you're like, we're just going to go for five minutes. I only live two blocks away. Lowering compliance thresholds. I talked about I, way more detail in my product, how to do this stuff. But these are like some key lines. Okay, so now you're on the bed or she's, she's pulling your pants down. Not like she's like in a thong or whatever, right? You ready? A lot of times, like, I'll pull their shirt off. I forgot to mention that. I'll pull their shirt off and undo their bra, like, while they're blowing me. And I'll be playing with their tits. All right, so there you have it. That is what you do once you get the girl back to the house. Okay, and keep in mind, the alcohol, as I said, does not make a difference. Okay, that's, I made that video at the time when I was drinking. I no longer drink. Okay, the way you would adapt without drinking, when the girl comes into the house, hey, would you like something to drink? I have, you can give her alcoholic options or non-alcoholic options. I, have, I usually say I have water, beer, and wine, whatever. Which do you prefer? Oh, I'll take a water. I'll take a beer. Cool. Doesn't fucking matter. Not relevant. Okay. You don't need to go bring them for a shot. Okay. That's just a, something that I was doing before. You don't have to do that. You can just say, um, you know, come over here or you can just kiss. I usually just kiss them on the couch now. Okay. It's not, don't, don't get stuck down in the details. Okay. This is the general flow of how to move it forward. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe below. Lots of new value packed videos coming every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am John Anthony, and this video is how to close the house in 10 minutes. Okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.